Okay, question number seven from June 2013, the R replacement paper legacy S1, statistics one. The first part of the question we're asked to find ES, which is a mean or the expected value of S, and that's pretty simple. To find the expected values, okay, or the mean, these are the probabilities that all add up to one. You basically multiply these numbers together. So you have zero, plus 0 0.2, plus 1 times 0 0.2, plus 2 times 0 0.1, plus 4 times 0 0.3, plus 5 times 0 0.2. That's 0. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus another 0 0.2 plus 1.2 plus 1. So you're going to have that's 0 0.6. That's 1.8, that's 2.8. Okay, so the expected value of S is equal to 2.8. Okay, show that ES squared equals 10.4. So basically, you just take these values and square them. So you're going to put S squared here. That's going to be 0 and 1 and 4 and 16 and 25. And this time, that's what you multiply by the probability that S is equal to S. So 0 times 0 0.2. So ES squared. These are like our giveaway questions. Zero, 0 times 0 0.2. That's 0. Plus 1 times, uh, sorry, 0 times 0. So will be 0. Okay, so you're going to have 0 times 0 0.2. Sorry, from there, 0 times 0 0.2. Now we're multiplying this line. Don't get confused. And 1 times 0 0.2. So it starts off exactly the same. Plus, now this is going to be 4 times 0 0.1. Plus, and you're going to have 16 times 0 0.3. Plus, and you have 25 times 0 0.2. So this will give you 0 plus 0 0.2. Plus, and you've got 4 times 0 0.1, which is 0 0.4. Plus 16 times 0 0.3, which is 4.8. Plus 25 times 0 0.2, which is going to give you um, 5. 5. Okay, so what does that give you? That gives you 0 0.6 plus 4.8 is 5.4 plus 5 is 10.4. So yes, we've shown that that gives us 10.4 ES squared. Okay, hence find the very, 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 very... Variation of S, of V A R S, V A R S. Okay, so that's going to be basically the the square, the the mean of the squares, which is 10.4. That's the mean of the squares, minus the square of the mean, which is 2.8 but squared. That should give you the variation. Okay, it's the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. Okay, that's a variation. So the mean of the squares is 10.4. The square, the mean is 2.8. So the square of the mean is 2.8 squared. So you have 10.4 minus 2.8 squared. So you have 10.4. Take away 2.8 squared. And that gives you 64 over 25, which is 2.56. 2.56. Okay, so we found ES, ES squared, and the variation of S. So now it says find E5S minus 3. Now, if you remember, okay, um, this is the same as doing 5 times ES minus 3. Okay, the coding, it's like it's being coded. The coding affects both, uh, I mean, the multiplication and subtraction will both affect the mean. Okay, the mean value will be affected by both multiplication and subtraction or addition. So you're going to t multiply the mean by 5 and take away 3 from it. So you're going to take the mean ES, which is, which we found earlier there, ES, which is 2.8. You have 5 times 2.8 minus 3. Okay, so that's going to give you 5 times 2.8. 
and take away three. So you have 11. The answer to that is 11. Okay, and then the variation of 5s minus 3. Now, 5, that's equal to 5 times, okay, it's equal to 5 squared times the variation of s. Okay, that's not something we should memorize or know. That basically the variation is related to the square of the numbers. It's something to do with the distance between the squares of each number. So you're going to square that 5. And for the coding, multiplication, multiplication affects um, the variation because it's about how spread out the data is. Okay, so if you multiply each data number by something, it's going to spread it out more. And uh, so, so the, multi sorry, the subtraction and addition does not affect coding because um, it, does not, sorry, it does not affect the variation. Addition and subtraction does not affect the variation because it doesn't increase or decrease the spread between the data. It just shifts everything, the same number of units right or left. So in this case, everything is going to shift three spaces down to the right, down to the left, sorry. So you can see that this is going to be um, not affecting the variation. The only thing that affects variation is multiplication, not addition or subtraction. So I'm only going to take the number 5 and multiply it by the variation, but because variation has got something to do with the square of the distances, you're going to square that 5. So it's going to be basically 25 times our answer for the variation of S, okay, which is 2.56. 25 times 2.56, and we'll get the answer for this part of the question. So 2.56 multiplied by 25, which gives us 64. Okay, so there we have 64 as our answer. So there's D, part 1 and 2. Now we're going to do part E. Okay, part E. One second. Get rid of this one. All right. Find P... S, 5s minus 3 is greater than s plus 3. Okay, so what we're going to do is find p, the probability that 5s minus 3 is greater than s plus 3. Okay, so now what we have to do here is we have to, let's simplify this first. Okay, so we have 5, oops, 5s minus 3 is greater than s plus 3. Okay, let me just simplify this by um, solving this inequality. So 5s, bring the s's to one side, you have 4s on this side, is greater than, and you're going to have 6 on that side. So s is going to be greater than 6 over 4. 6 over 4 is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So we want to find the probability of this. Okay, you want to find the probability that S is greater than 1.5. So we can go back to our original table, and we want to find the probability that S is greater than 1.5. So it's these probabilities combined together. Okay, so it's 0 0.6. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.6. That's equal to 0 0.6 on the table above. And there we have it. Very simple. Just solve that inequality, and then answer the question according to the table. Okay, greater than 1.5. These are the probabilities at the bottom. So that's the probability. That's the probability that S is 0. That's the probability S is 1. That's the probability S is 2, 4, 5. So the what's the probability S is greater than 1.5? Well, it's these three combined, 0 0.6. And there we have answer to these questions. It's done. I'm going to do it from the next video. Thank you for paying attention.